Good morning, welcome back to our channel. I guess it's not really morning, it's like 10.30. I guess that's morning. morning. Is that morning? It's morning until it's noon, I would say. Okay, so good morning. We wanted to get his reaction trying a lemon. He's had banana before. He likes banana. He did not like it at first, but he has slowly started liking banana. He's tried strawberry. He's had carrots, sweet potatoes. He doesn't like sweet potatoes or carrots. Carrots like are an absolute no. <laughs> I'm gonna post a screenshot of him eating a carrot because I got the funniest picture. I have something that I wanna say before we get into this. We've said this before, why we have this channel and why we keep doing this. And a big part of it is for you guys because we want to ha there to be representation of families like ours because there aren't a lot of families like ours that are represented right now. Looking back on videos of like Harbor's firsts are like invaluable and so much fun. Like, because we don't really remember like his first bath, for example, you know? But we can a go back and look at the video of his first bath and we can see the whole experience and how he hated it and what kind of mood we were in that day and just everything and like really relive it. I'm excited for this video because I know this is is gonna be one that we look back on forever and remember and I want to post his very first thing he ate which was a banana right yeah but I want to post a quick video of the very first thing he ate he was very skeptical so insert video here what is that why is it mushy, <laughs> is it mushy? <laughs> you can try it honey you don't like it <laughs> what's the matter you don't like it <laughs> It was a good try, honey. <laughs> I don't think he likes it. Is that a no? Oh, yeah, are you He's excited? very excited, as you, you can tell. You Gotta get a bib on this guy or it's gonna be a Yeah, disaster. we do. <laughs> what do you think? It's like, don't get me out of the shot. All right, why are you pulling that face? <laughs> Your spoon. I mushed it up with a fork. <laughs> I give him a spoon, but he likes to use his hands. All right, use just your hands. Use your hands. Can you show them you like bananas? <laughs> mm. See, he's getting pretty good at it. Like when we first started doing this, he wouldn't grab it and put it right <gasps> in his mouth. We didn't tell them. What? He has a tooth. Oh, yeah. Baby boy has a tooth. He, we Julia, saw it yesterday. Yeah, Julia was at the dentist and she came home and she was just like putting her finger in his mouth to like get food out of there or something. I don't yeah. know. We were like, oh my gosh. And then you were crying in the kitchen because he had a tooth. I didn't think you noticed I was crying. You never he said anything crying. about it. <laughs> I think he's in some pain though because of it, because it's really just starting to poke through and you can just feel the tip of both of them though at this point. He has his two bottom front teeth. You can give him a lemon? Yes, I'm kind of scared. I don't think he'll like it. Should I just put some on my finger? Yeah, just to get his like his reaction. Here. You liked it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you take some lemons? Here, take a bite. Oh, is that sour? You don't like it? Oh, oh that's a sad more? face. Why do you want more if you didn't like it? <laughs> <laughs> you don't like? You're getting messy. He looks like he wants more again. I think he just wants to grab it. Are you done? I think he's done. He's just been kind of getting upset that he's messy. So I'm gonna wash his hands really quick, wash off his face, which he doesn't really like, but we're gonna do it anyway because you're messy guy. Yeah, and then I'm gonna clean up the counter and everything. Swerve. Since having a baby, I have not wanted to use like harsh chemicals to like clean his like high chair stuff or the counter because he often is like eating food off the counter. So what I've been using is the Blue Land cleaning supplies. I use like the multi-surface cleaner, pretty much everything from them because it's so much better. I'm now in the process of changing all of our bathroom soap. So I'm changing out the one in the kitchen and the guest bathroom to the Blue Land hand soaps. Look how cute these are, I love them. So how Blue Land works is they have these little tablets. So these are the foaming hand soap tablets, but they also have them for like the multi-surface cleaner and the Windex and stuff like that. 
I showed you. You just fill these up with water and you drop the tablet in and then you're literally good to go. You're not wasting plastic. They are also vegan and cruelty free, which is amazing. These are free of any ammonia, VOC, soy, nut, chlorine, bleach, and parabens. It's been amazing because when I am like cleaning out his bathtub, I don't wanna be using any of those like harsh chemicals. It can be really bad and harmful for his skin. And that means that they are also EPA certified. You literally just fill it to the line that it has with warm water. Boom, so easy. I got the hand soap duo kit and it comes with six of the tablets and three cents. And then of course the two glass bottles. Literally save 20% when you buy the hand soap kit because you are not having to buy reusable bottles. Plus I have a 15% off code if you guys want to check it out. There will be a link in the description and if you guys want to use that 15% off, you can use code Abby at checkout. All right, much better. It looks good. We are having, a <laughs> you wanna pee in the camera? <laughs> we are having a quick milk break. Still having the same amount of feeds that he has every single day with all the like little food we've been giving, giving him because it's just basically for fun. And then I also have some really fun projects I wanna do in the house and also I have to tell you a horror story because Julia did something really bad the other day. I'm gonna feed him really quick and then stay tuned for that catastrophe. What did you just call it a catastrophe that I did? Yeah. So dramatic. It's not a catastrophe. It was, babe. It was. I'll show you right now. You don't have to stay tuned. I don't believe in that. I'm just. I just get right to the point. Basically, what happened? Well, I'll show you. Please don't mind my messy garage. I'm gonna try and cut most of the mess out of it. Actually, I really need to clean this garage. It's so bad right now. Abby wants to make some sort of frame. I'll let her tell you about it. But I had to go to Home Depot and buy molding. Um, for it. So here is the molding that I bought at Home Depot. It's actually really pretty It's obviously not like standard painted or anything, but it's like a really pretty design. I don't have a truck Right, so I just took our SUV there and I thought it's pretty long, you know I thought it'll fit. I didn't measure it because I just figured it would fit well, I was wrong. That was a dumb decision on my part I should have measured because I stuck it in the car and it did not shut the trunk so i tried to force it shut i don't know what i was thinking there the part at the front pushed forward and as you can see we got ourselves a crack here in the windshield dumb yes catastrophe no um but we will probably have to get a new windshield because well i don't know can they fix a crack that small it's like a foot long it's curved i would say it's that long so i don't know if they can fix a crack like that but it looks expensive ours is tinted because i don't like people looking at me while i'm driving i don't know if you guys know this are we our cars are our cars very tinted but you really cannot see into it at all obviously the windshield you can see into it more because i think legally you can't tint that as much but we got it as tinted as you can get so Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's go check on Abby. I'm never sending Julia to Home Depot alone ever again because I didn't think that windshields broke that easy. <laughs> when she called me, she was like, you're going to be so mad. <laughs> I knew what she was about to say. I was like, she broke the windshield. I, I don't know. I just had a feeling. Oh. But anyway, I bought some cute stuff for Harbor's bathroom because it's just boring in there and I wanted to make it a little more fun. I found these cute little like wall decals. They're like little little oranges, tangerines, I don't really know. So the reason I sent Julia, did you tell them why I sent you to Home Depot? Sort of frame situation. Yeah, I bought wallpaper and I'm not gonna make my wife wallpaper the wall like I did last time, but I have this really cool idea to make like my own frame that I saw from like a new TV show that we're watching. It's like a home reno show and I got inspiration from it and I thought, you know what? I can do that. So we'll see if it pans out, right? So I need to measure the wall for that, but I think I'm gonna start doing this in his bathroom. I think it'll look cute, but also I don't know because the walls are kind of like funky in his bathroom. We'll see. So this is what it looks like now because like if I do just one wall because I have these little wall stickers just in the nursery like on this one wall and I think it looks good, but like the wall doesn't have like, I don't know, like a cutoff where the shower is. So should I just do it like going here to there? Should I do it all around? I don't really know. I'm worried that if I do it all around, it'll look too busy because also I have all the pumps and bottles and stuff that I wash in the middle of the night. So, hmm. Maybe I'll start putting it up and stop there because either way, if I'm gonna do all of it, I have to do this side anyway and then see how it looks. Here goes nothing. There's never not a home project going on with this girl as my wife. I just like don't feel like my brain can like handle life if I don't have like a home decor project going on. Depressed? Do a home project. Uh -huh. Stressed? Do a home project. Going through a breakup? Home project. 
When have you Diarrhea? Been going through a breakup oh, when we're wives? What? You haven't been going through a breakup when we're wives. I'm just saying, like, I'm trying to relate to the people. Like, if oh. you. So you're telling them if they're going through a breakup, this is their solution. Yeah. Like a cargo, you will carry me. Your son needs you, don't fall. He also needs a cute bathroom. <laughs> the lighting looks kind of spooky. <laughs> You're about to tell me a scary story. <laughs> Trevor, you learn a lot here about how to stand on things that are high up and just do dangerous stuff. So good. I guess I can't help myself. It looks so cute. Are you guys ready? Oh, okay. It's definitely way too busy with the pattern on the shower curtain, but I'm gonna go try and find one that's either just like um, plain orange or green. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think it's too busy and whatnot? It looks so cute. I think I want to get another one of these um, bath mats to put here, but maybe a peach one. Also put this little plant here, and I want to get a few more like decor pieces maybe. But let me know what you guys think. This is what Abby does when Harper's napping. Me and Julia are fighting over who ate the tortilla chips. Well, it certainly wasn't me. It was not me. ate nachos the other day. I haven't eaten a single tortilla chip. Last time we made nachos, that bag was full. Oh, and then and then you used them for some recipe. You crumbled them at the bottom. Remember that? Okay, that like you. That like was three tortilla chips. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm. I, <laughs> Oh, this is like a thing I do. I like to, I, I'm heating it up before I add the hot water. That was a wet kiss. Yeah, I just drink some liquid IV. Oh, that's why it tastes like matcha? Yeah. Gross. You want to tell them what we're making? Mashed potatoes. Yeah. Do you? <laughs> I just remembered something. Are you going to tell the mashed potato story? What mashed potato story? Of you in a bath of mashed potatoes? <laughs> I've never done that. You wanted to. Yeah, that was not what I was going to say though. Oh. That's not a story. That was just a goal I had at one point in my life. <laughs> um, when Abby and I were first dating, I wanted to impress her with my good cooking skills, so I sent her a picture of something that I had made. I don't know if you remember this. What? It was mashed potatoes in a lettuce leaf. <laughs> oh, I think I remember that, and I was like... <laughs> and she just didn't respond. <laughs> I didn't? Yeah. To remind me to I never think I have it. The picture is still. I'll see if you, I can find yeah, it. you should find it. When I first <laughs> met her, also, she had one of those like survival, like big, big bags, like how many pounds? Probably like 20 pounds yeah, yeah. of instant powdered mashed potatoes. And she wanted to fill her bathtub with it and have some romantic time romantic in the bathtub time. with her potatoes. Um, no, I just wanted to bathe in it. You were the one who suggested romantic time in it. Literally, you did. I have the text messages still screenshotted. I'll show that too. <laughs> now you're blackmailing me. <laughs> All right, we were going to measure for Abby's like picture frame thing right now, but I think we're gonna save it for another day because we've already like done a bunch today. So stay tuned for that. It's for gonna a, be really cute. It's gonna be really cool. Um, do you have like an inspiration picture we can put? So people know I can find like. one. I'll put it in while I'm editing. Well, okay. but it's gonna basically be like a antique style wallpaper mm -hmm. with like a gold, really thick like. I showed them the frame. Yeah, it's gonna be gold though, so I'm gonna paint that. And it's gonna be like a big, like, almost like canvas type thing. It's gonna be very cool. So it's gonna look like a big, like, Victorian painting. So definitely stay tuned so that we, you can see. We're gonna look like a bunch of idiots. We will probably ruin it. <laughs> but you know what? That's okay. It's just, sometimes it's just fun to do projects, even if they don't turn out great. And that, there's your life lesson for the day. Don't forget to leave a comment letting us know what you think of the bathroom because we wanna hear your opinions on if you like it, if you don't like it, what you think we should do with the shower curtain. And thanks for watching. Bye. I just did it again. I did this in the last video, didn't I? I think so. What's the next? <laughs> I don't know.